Hi, George here, and I want to show you some real magic. Now, I've used this picture before in several videos. Normally when I'm moving a person, I take out the background person because we have all this information in here for the foreground person, no problem. And I frequently said that you can only remove background people because if you remove the front person, there's nothing to fill in that missing gap. And it's about half this person here is missing, so I can't really do that until now. And that's through the magic of AI, artificial intelligence. And this is just amazing. Let me show you what the results are here. There we go. We've never removed the foreground person and retained the background person. And before I show you how this was done, take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. I have a new one for 2023 and also courses for previous versions as well. You'll find links for those right down there at the top of the description. And make sure you click like and subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out. Okay, let's now see how this was done. So I'll just revert this back to the original image in here. Now this technique requires a square image. So we'll do just the part where the girls are in it. We can then paste that back into the original full size image. So I'll go over here to the crop tool and I'm gonna be setting this at a five by five. That's square image right there. Now I care about the right side girl, not the left side. Left side does not matter in this. We just wanna have the right side girl in here and basically centered like that looks good. All right, that's been now cropped out. Now, before I do anything else, I wanna save this as a new file so I don't mess up my original file and I'll do a save as. I'll just put it into a new folder here and to keep the quality, I'll do it as a Photoshop file and let's just call it background girl. There we go. Okay, I now need to erase this person here. I won't do any clone stamping or anything like that. I'm just gonna erase her. But again, as always, even here, I'm going to make a duplicate of that layer and hide that background. That just gives me a safety, just in case, especially since I'm using the eraser tool here that just make the brush size a bit larger. That's pretty good. I don't care if it's hard edge, doesn't matter to me. And I'll just come in here and so get this whole thing out here as much as possible. I don't really want to take out too much that I don't need to get rid of. I could do a more careful selection on this, but this will be fine. And we'll show you how this whole process works. Okay, there we go. Let's just take that out right here and get this person all the way erased, just like that. Now that's all that we actually have there of the background girls. Not a whole lot to work with in there. We don't have her chin, no hair on that side, no hand down here, nothing over there. So. There's a lot missing when we take out the foreground person. And this is the reason why you normally can't do this kind of a trick. We now need to set this image at 1024 by 1024. Image and resize image size right here. And mine's already square, so to 1024 by 1024, that's fine. And I'll just set this for best for reduction, which is right there, looks good. Choose okay. And we're now set, we can now save this image out. Let's now save this out as a PNG file because we want to have this transparent area in here. So go up to File and come down to Save As. And let's change this to PNG, which is right there. There we go. And choose Save. And OK. And we're all set. We now can go over to this new magical site. And let me show you what that is. And we're going here to a site called DALL-E2. And I'll put this link in the description. It's free to sign up and you can do a few images for free and then it's inexpensive to do more images. Let's go over here where I'm already logged in. This is the login page right here. And it will do all kinds of things. One thing it will do is if you put a description up here, then it's going to make an image for you just from that description. Like this one here is 3D render of a cute tropical fish in an aquarium on a dark blue background, digital art, and it made that image. Here's an armchair in the shape of an avocado. And again, it made that image from scratch. It just made it up. Here we go here, a cartoon of a monkey in space. Like that. I kind of like this one here. A sea otter with a pearl earring by Johannes Vermeer. Looks great. So again, these are all artificial intelligence created images. It can do that for you, which is loads of fun. But I like how it can actually put back in missing parts of images. So for that, come right down here where it says, or upload an image, click on that. And there's our PNG file, click on that, choose open. No cropping needed because it's already set for that. There's the image size 1024 by 1024, we're fine. 
and then come down here and click that check mark right here. Now where it says edit, put in a description of what it is that you're looking for. Now this is pretty easy. It's a woman in a field. And I'll just add with book and see what we get. Click on generate. And then Dolly will go in, look at the image, try to figure out what it is, and then come up with some options that you can choose from that finish or fill in the rest of the picture and add in a book. And we'll see how well this works. It actually goes pretty fast as you see. And there we go. That one's not too bad. Notice the center here is, is beautiful. Great job there. Let's try our next one. That looks really nice. Here's our next one. Two books, that's kind of fun. And here's an open book. I like that one as well. Let's click on accept on this. If we go up here to history, it then gives you those options. Now, I did a couple of experimentations down here, different things, and they weren't working out, but these did. Here's our options. I kind of like that one right there. Let's click on that. I think this one works out really well. It looks real natural. Hair is really good. Fills in the left-hand side of the picture very nicely, and I think this one's a winner. So we click over here, download button, and I'll save it right here with the original image. There we go. And we can close this down. You can also save this if you want to to your favorites or make a collection. I'll put it into favorites. There we go. We'll just close this down, go back to Photoshop Elements, and I'll bring back up the original image, which is right here. Let's now open up the new fixed image that we did. File open, and that's one with the book right there. Drag that in. Now we had to make the image smaller, so we need to make it larger again. And I'll just drag that out to fit in this right there. Now if you come in and you change the opacity here down to about halfway, you can then move this around and make sure you're in exactly the right spot. And it looks like right about there is it. Put that back to 100%. There's that new bit of image. We can now get rid of this stuff over here, left-hand side, and clean the picture up. Also, bottom right-hand corner, there's this little color chart right down there. We'll fix that as well. And whenever I make a change on something, I'm going to do it on a new copy. So let's just right-click where it says background, duplicate layer, choose OK. There's our background copy. Make it real easy. I'm just going to merge these two together. Do a duplicate layer of this layer. I'll put the copy with the copy like that. And let's just select both of these two layers, right-click, and we'll merge those layers. Now it'll be real easy just to do clone stamping to clean this stuff up in here and have a nice finished picture. So clone stamp tool, there's a brush size right here. Now on this, we're gonna be cloning in some grass either side, just kind of back and forth, get things to match. Same thing up in here, kind of back and forth, get things to match. I'll click and then clone that in like that. The first step on this kind of clone stamp cleanup is that you want to just get rid of the problem area. Don't worry about things like duplicating and making it look real pretty. Just get rid of the stuff you wanna get rid of. And once that's done, we'll then come back in and do a little bit of cleanup just to make it look more natural. And I'm just grabbing from different areas in here and pasting that in like that. Okay, now come in and get rid of anything which is obviously a duplicate and then put in some random stuff, some stuff from over here, right-hand side, just to put in a bit of that. Again, just to give us some variation in there, just a little bit of this in here. And that looks nice. It's a little bit weird right up in here. So let's just pull this stuff over here and just pull it straight down. So I'll come over here. I'm going to grab that right there and bring it in and clone stamp that in from that spot. And that should do what we need. And let's just pull some of that all the way down here. There we go. I'm going to get rid of that little bit. So I'll grab from here and just a little bit right in there. And we're just about there. One last thing to do, bottom right-hand corner. Let's just get rid of that little color chart right down there. That's fixed, and there it is. Using that Dolly artificial intelligence program, we were able to actually replace that whole missing side of this girl in here. Did a beautiful job, as you can see, including giving us a book that we asked for. So it's an amazing tool. Let's just see how that compares to the original. There's the original, and here's our new version where we've removed the foreground person as opposed to removing the background person, something that I didn't believe was even possible until I saw this new program. And if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, make sure you click on subscribe and check out my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There are links for that right down there at the top of the description. And I'll see you next time.